What's up guys and welcome to a new kind of video sort of thing vloggy updatey thingy I guess um, <clears throat> So what we got here is my new server rack and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna rack all my stuff so um, I don't know I'm, I'm in my new apartment set up and whatnot kind of nice view 15th floor pretty damn cool but uh, I saw a lot of shit everywhere and I'm trying to make some space so I'm gonna put all my stuff in this rack so that I get to get some of this space back like here's the side panel for it and I got a server down there and server in there and monitor and another server leaning against the wall in there and then another server right there so what we're gonna do is fill this uh, trip light 25u case with uh, all my servers and my networking hardware and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you guys on the adventure. So what we got? I'll show you what we got to put in here right now. I just um, let's open this up. It's not in its final resting place yet because I don't want it there. I kind of want it in there, but I gotta clean up first. But um, I had to move these rails back here, this, so that I could fit the servers in there with the door shutting because whoever had it before didn't. Uh, I guess didn't use servers with handles on it because the handles will get in the way so we got to set those up and I'm gonna put server the first server down there and then I'm gonna mount my rails which are up here for the server that's behind my fridge and then that one's got rails on it already so that's gonna go on top of that and uh, yeah so we got three servers that are going in there I've got my 24 port patch panel up here um, that's three terabytes of hard drives there punch down tool um, power distribution unit on top of that uh, we got my switch and my router which are in there so and then we got a shitty monitor that I'm just gonna sit in there for console stuff and I gotta get rid of that microwave but um yeah cool so I got all the side panels off we're moving the rails around and uh, yeah, we're gonna put the we're gonna put the uh, the tracks and stuff in here so I'll uh, I'll come back when I'm done that so we've got it relatively racked up for what I have right now anyway um, and I guess this will be a part one because I'm not gonna do any of the, the wiring today because I don't have my uh, I'm waiting on some stuff to ship I'm waiting on some cable ties some velcro cable ties some more uh, cabling I do have quite a bit I got that over there and I got a ton sitting on top of there but I need some more and um, yeah, so then uh, after that, I'm gonna be setting up my. Uh, I'm gonna set up the, uh, the the wired connections throughout my uh, my apartment. Uh, right now, I've got. Let's move this out of the way. Ugh. Let's check out what I got in the rack. So right here, it's got a magnet with screws on it. But this is a. I don't remember what kind of case this is. I don't know. I bought it for like thirty bucks, but it's it needs to be cleaned. Uh, it's got. I guess I could pull it out yeah maybe not I'll show off all this stuff when it's actually running and working but these are just on rails and I can slide them out that one a little bit tougher than the rest because it's not actually on rails but uh, this one is oh this one's sitting on top of it because I don't have screws for the rails yet that's also what I'm waiting for I'm waiting for screws to mount these rails onto this so I can actually pull it out and work on it so right now it's just sitting on top of this server this one's actually set up on the rail, so I can slide it out, but I don't actually need to take anything out of it. So, yeah. So anyway, this is a AMD Athlon with like 2 gigs of RAM. That's going to be an RTMP ingest server uh, and other general Linux stuff that, uh, that I feel like screwing around with on there. This is a... Uh, this has Windows Server 2012 R2 on it. Uh, currently, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it's got some... SAS drives in it right now. I think it's got four. Yep. These are all populated with 150 gig SAS drives in RAID 5. Windows Server 2012. Not sure what I'm going to put on it yet. Probably going to screw around with Active Directory and Exchange on here. Um, then this one, another 3U case. This one's a lot longer. Goes back. That currently has my old gaming PC or my second PC in it. I'm, I'm going to put, I've got in that box right there is a hot swap bay for some hard drives that's going to go in here four hard drives are going to go in that and i've got the hard drives sitting up there 
So that's going to be about four terabytes of storage for now, and I can expand it. I've got another set. I'm going to take this out because I don't actually need a disk drive. But, um, yeah, that's what that is. It's got the AMD Phenom X4 in it with 8 gigs of RAM and um, another 500 gig hard drive or something like that. And then, uh, oh, yeah, this thing. This thing's a... I don't know, there's a video on this machine already on my or on my channel. Um, you can go check that out, but it's a dual Xeon X5150 um, CPUs. Uh, the RAM is 30... I got 32 gigs of uh, DDR2 ECC RAM in here. Um, and then it's got some other cool stuff in it. It's got two fiber channel cards in the back, which I can show you, I guess. And then it's got hot swaps all the way in the front. This one's got a broken cage but it still works i just don't have a drive in there right now i'm gonna pick up one of those and this is a for a tape drive but i'm not gonna put anything in there i might get another hot swap tray for that i don't know if there's a spot on the back plane but i can put another drive in there and just wire it up like normal um let me move up we've got my cisco 1841 uh router which i'm gonna screw around with and see what i can do with um i'm gonna try and find a, a wi-fi or a wireless module card for it to stick in the back but as of right now it's just gonna i'm not even gonna i don't think i'm even gonna put it on the network i'm just gonna continue using that router over there until i uh, set this up how i want it which i don't really need to considering it's home connection but i'm in networking so why not learn i'm gonna learn it in class anyway this isn't push all the way back um and then up here we've got my startech uh it's 125 volt 15 amp uh, power distribution unit and it's got the uh, surge protection ground all that shit and I can basically what I'm going to do with this is be able to turn the whole rack on and off with that switch without having to unplug anything and then above that we've got a 24 port patch panel which everything is going to be connected to and then we've got my 24 port Dell Power Connect 2724 gigabit switch and uh, that thing works pretty damn good it's got um, unmanaged and managed mode uh, so I'm going to have it in manage mode, and I'm going to set up some teaming uh, between this this server, because it's got hard drives in it. It's going to have a, a RAID, RAID 10 array, I think, I'm going to put in it. And uh, we're going to want to be able to access it from over there with uh, with some teamed NIC cards and get about 2 gigabits, two gigabits of throughput. But, uh, yeah, so every 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 port on this switch is, um, is gigabit. And then I've also got... I'm going to team this with uh, probably two gigabits per second teaming, and this thing doesn't matter that much. That's just getting one. And then, yeah, so that's all I have in the rack right now. I'm not going to wire it up today, but I uh, hope you enjoyed part one of my, uh, my my rack tour. Also, this rack. It's a Triplight 25U rack. Got it for 150 bucks. Uh, it's worth about a grand, so I got a pretty decent deal on it. It's really, really nice rack. It's kind of big, like really long, but... um. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out where to put it. Let's get a get a look behind here, I guess. Got the Goliath hosting uh, mouse pad. Got for a dollar off of some website. Um, so that's the back of the router. I've got a serial card in it right now, and then the other expansion slot's empty. There's the back of the switch. The patch panel, which is going to have all my network cables. I need some uh, cable management rails as well. Oh, my hands are shaky. And there's the back of the power uh, PDU. Uh, I need one more AC cable to do the second power supply on the Xeon server, but that's not a big deal. And then, uh, yeah, we've got the back here. It's got 700 watt power supply in there. Um, graphics cards. Both these things have graphics cards, and then I'm going to use this one as a Steam streaming box. Uh, and then there's the back of the Xeon, and we've got lots of room back here for me to pile shit in, I guess. And then the doors at the back, and they unlock. So I'm going to put the side panels back on this, and I'm going to continue working on this tomorrow when I get um, my order of cable ties and all my other stuff. And I'm going to get some some uh, spacers too. And I also need the mounting hardware for this thing so I can rack it. It's just sitting on there right now. But uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks.